What is up? So, welcome back to another episode of Rad Race Parts. My name is Kyle Voss, and yeah, it's been a minute. This week, we're talking about standalone ECUs. So in my opinion, this company right here is probably one of the most overlooked uh, standalone ECU companies out there for price versus what you get, in my opinion. I think everybody gets kind of caught up in um, you know, the big box guys and they overlook this company right here. So this company has been around for about almost 20 years. Um, I've used several of their products in the past and uh, this is one of their new ones. So this is the MS3 Pro standalone ECU setup. These guys, these guys were the originators of the DIY standalone ECU setup uh, back in the, back in like 2004, 2005. Um, they used to make their units where you buy them as a kit, it'd come with all the components. You'd have to solder them together yourself. Um, I've actually made one of those myself on a turbo setup I did a long time ago. Uh, I think the whole kit itself was like 150 bucks. It was super cheap. And that kit was so versatile, it could run anything. You could run, you could turbo a Briggs and Stratton motor or make one fuel injected if you wanted to, all the way up to, you know, V8, V10, rotary motors, anything you had. It was so versatile, it could do anything. And the thing that was cool about it was it was all open source, uh, open source, um, software i guess is the way to put it and so you could you know there was guys within the community that would add and take you know add things take things out make digital dashes for them all kinds of stuff so the company's come a long ways from their diy roots uh they took all the stuff they learned through those components and then developed uh this basically company amp efi um they offer some really high-end uh standalone ecu units uh, for drag racing applications, really for anything. And this is their MS3 Pro Evo. It's like the one step down from their flagship uh, MS3 Pro Ultimate. And this thing is the bomb. Uh, side note, if you, if you are wanting to do like a little DIY setup, say you have a, a Briggs and Stratton motor. So you have a little mini chop or something, you wanna put a turbo on it, you wanna make it feel injected. They still do offer the Mega Squirt uh, one, two, and three kits. You can still buy those, you can still build them yourself, or you can buy them already assembled. You can still get those today. Uh, if you're wanting something a little more robust, a lot more features, then you're gonna to wanna to go with this new line of, of products they've got. Let me take a second, I wanna read off some of these, uh, some of these features, and I'm not gonna be able to read all of them. But they have a ton of features. So this this unit here has a um, 10 channel um, programmable peak and hold injector uh, outputs. So you can run 10 injectors, uh, eight logic level ignition inputs. It's got five pulse, pulse width modulated uh, outputs. So you can run, I think it even has more than that. I think if you're not using all 10 of the injector outputs you can also use those as pwm outputs three high current digital pwm outputs so this thing will do ve based tuning speed density alphanumeric uh, math based tuning if you want to um, and blended algorithms 2d or 3d tables um, in the in the tuning software itself individual cylinder fuel and spark trim tables uh, table switching so if you wanted to do table switching for instance, um, some guys will have a, uh, a table that's just specific to building boost. Say in a drag racing application, you're sitting on the line, you just want to build boost. You want to take out a bunch of timing, add a bunch of fuel, whatever you need to do to build boost fast. You can have one table for that. And then the second you let go of the trans brake button, it can switch to another table that is specific to making horsepower and going down the track. Now that's just one application you can use table switching for all kinds of applications. So you got VVT controls, you got four channels of VVT controls, this thing will control transmission, uh, con transmissions as well. Um, you can basically use any kind of trigger wheel. So they offer their own trigger wheels. These are really nice cut trigger wheels. 
uh, for the DIY side of this. Like if you, you want to take something that's not uh, normally fuel injected or doesn't have a trigger wheel and you want to kind of convert it, they make all the components to do that as well. And these kits will accept basically any kind of trigger wheel setup. So they'll do um, 60 and two, 36 and one, uh, eight and one or four and one, which is more like a crank trigger, I think. Basically anything. Um, these systems support up to a 50 plus uh, specialty OEM and aftermarket ignition systems um, using factory cam and crank wheel and sensors. So, you know, you can adapt a lot of these if if your car or or whatever it is that you're trying to put a standalone setup on already has its own uh, trigger wheel on it, which is is I think a lot of stuff is going to that these days. Um, you can adapt this system to it. Internal SD card for high speed data logging, um, traction control. It'll do all the traction control stuff. Uh, E85 flex sensors. You can you can you can adapt that to this. Um, it's compatible with any of your wideband O2 setups. So if you have say a uh, Innovate Motorsport setup, really any of them, um, you can take the analog outputs for this, tie it in this this unit here and it will sense wideband O2 from whatever unit you're using. Let's see, what else we got here? Uh, high power time enrichment. Um, it's got multi multiple, multiple acceleration enrichment strategies. So you can have staged injection control. You can have nitrous control strategies. Uh, Three-step rev limiter with uh, flat shift capabilities in this. Trans brake and bump control all built into this unit. No separate box needed. It's got advanced launch control strategies, which I think might be, that might even take the place of the map switching. So I think um, you can basically tell it, hey, you know, on the trans brake, I want it to do this. And then as soon as I let it go, I want it to do that. Wheel speed based launch arming for like a roll start setup. Like if you're gonna do, you know, roll racing, um, you can basically set that up in this. Rally style turbo anti-lag. So you can set this thing up to do anti-lag if you wanted to do, you know, if you're doing some kind of rally racing or um, drift, if you're drifting, high-end drift racing, a lot, drift racing, just drifting. You can set up anti-lag in these. Water and meth injection, fuel pump control, uh, intelligent knock detection. This system will actually even control like, um, Fans and AC controls and a, you know basically you kick your AC on it'll idle it up a little bit just like a factory car would. This will do it. Programmable fan uh, on and off activation points. It can be configured to run fans when the engine's only on or on and off depending on like if you cut it off and you want it to cool for a little bit you can configure all that. It'll control your alternator as far as the uh, field control. So you can actually control the field that the alternator sees with this unit. There's a ton. So look, this is uh, just the stuff that's highlighted is what I've basically went over. There is a ton of stuff. You can go see it on the website and look at all their products, really. DIY Auto-Tune. Um, it's really good stuff. This one has uh, full can support too. So basically you can you can run any aftermarket digital display that they offer that's all can supported. I'm actually gonna run a digital display myself on the Bibster with this unit. And so, yeah, and the thing that's cool about this too is you get this unit, comes with all your wiring harnesses that you need. Um, a lot of your connectors and stuff. And you can get this unit for like a fifth of the price of comparable units on the market which is crazy if you think about it. So yeah, go check them out. Amp EFI, uh, DIYautotune.com. This one here is the uh, MS3 Pro Evo. And uh, I'm pretty stoked to have this thing. I'm gonna get this thing in the Bibster. Uh, I'm gonna be able to do all kinds of fun stuff with it. The other thing that's rad too, like I said, is they, they offer all the things that you need for your standalone setup. You can get the trigger wheels, you can get the uh, Halifax sensors, you can get all of the sensors that go with this as far as like water temp, um, air temp, uh, you know, all the stuff that you would need to basically hook one of these up, they got on their site. 
The other thing that's cool is that the sensors they use aren't necessarily specific to this. They're just a standard like GM sensor. You can go get them at any AutoZone or, or yeah. So if something were to happen on the road, you don't need a specific sensor for a specific standalone unit. You just go to the store, you get a standard GM air temp sensor, you plug it in, you're ready to go. What else? Am I missing anything? So pricing for these things goes from, like I said, $150 to your like standard mega squirt setup that you're gonna put together up to about 1500 bucks for one of these. Uh, like I said, that's a fit, like a fifth of the price of you that you would spend on something that's comparable to this. I have actually considered putting uh, this exact unit in the goose, switching everything over. Um, it just has way, it's, this thing just has way more features compared to the Big Stuff 3 that I've got in there now, which um, it itself is a little bit aged, but man, it's, it's like, you know, just in the boost control setups within this thing, it makes that thing look silly. I mean, I could do so much uh, boost control tuning as far as how it leaves and all that stuff with with uh, the MS3 Pro. So anyway, there you go. A little rad race parts. Um, I really like these guys. I've used their products in the past and uh, they're local to me. They're right here in Georgia. Actually, I'm not in Georgia, but they're right over the state line in Georgia. Everything's made in the USA, local right there and uh, just just some good guys making some great products y'all go check them out diyautotune.com i'll put a link in the description and uh yeah rad stuff